welcome to BSF Recovery Team. It's been pretty cold out here in Wisconsin, and as you can see, we're still buried as deep in snow. But I promised to tell you what the problem was with the receiver trick on the last recovery. And we'll show you. When I use the receiver upside down in a receiver hitch, it sits on the bar here real nice and can only slide back and forth a little ways. And that works out real good for the small tire Jeeps that I tow out. But what I failed to realize is on that GMC Jimmy, we had some pretty large tires. I had to raise it up a long ways to keep the tires off the ground. I'll show you what happens when we do that. tires off the ground on the jimmy in the rough terrain that we tow on I had to raise it up quite a ways and then that puts the receiver at a little different angle and allows it to slide all the way off one way or the other I didn't realize this at the time but I found out when we had to start down a pretty steep and slimy hill that was really rutted up let's take a look at what happened So what happened? It started to slide off coming down this hill through the holes. So we got to set it down, rehook it, so it's centered back up again. But right now, one of the chains in the J hook is stuck between a couple of spring leaves. So we got to get that out. to get the back end of the wrecker centered on the jimmy to rehook, I had to get the wrecker kind of kinny wampus on the trail. Because of the slimy conditions and the ruts in the trail, I was unable to steer the wrecker back onto the main trail. 
and kept nosing the wrecker right up to the tree that you see on the left rear corner of the jimmy. That's why we decided to steer to the right, go through the opening in the trees, and ended up where you see us now. And that proved to create a little bit of a problem too. Not only was the wet clay and the grass extremely slippery, but there also were a couple of hidden logs in the grass. And we ended up sliding dangerously close to a couple of trees. So again, we had to unhook the jimmy and try and get the wrecker out first. Well, we did. We got the wrecker out on its own, but not before we caved in seat cover's door against the tree. Then, of course, we had to spend some extra time in the rain winching the jimmy through. This took quite a bit of time, so with the aid of technology, we'll speed things up for you. Finally, when we got the jimmy wenched up to the back of the tow truck, I decided, rather than to fight with keeping it on the sling, that we'd break out the strap and use that method. The blazer still had conventional steering, which meant that he could steer the rig even without the engine running, unlike a full hydraulic setup. And even though having one on the hook with the extra weight in the back of the wrecker is better for maneuverability and traction, I figured we could make it out of the woods this way.
And even though we had a little bit of trouble with a few of the corners and some of the hills, we were finally able to make it out of the woods. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling and maybe we'll see you in the woods.